A horizontal grinder is a powerful machine that can grind up tree debris almost as fast as it is loaded into it. It can get the job done efficiently, and as the demand for wood products changes, we're seeing more of them on logging operations. You require full training before you begin operating the grinder, and it is your supervisor's responsibility to make sure you're properly trained. If you have any questions, ask your supervisor for clarification. This segment will review some of the safety features and procedures that are common to grinders. But remember, each machine is unique, and you still need to familiarize yourself with the operator's manual as part of your training. Don't hesitate to consult that manual if you have any questions. Both your supervisor and the operator's manual are good resources for you to draw on. Before beginning each shift, make sure you're wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment. When it comes to operating a grinder, that PPE should include high visibility clothing so you can be seen from a distance, a hard hat for head protection, hearing protection because the grinder is a noisy machine, hand protection, especially when you're performing a circle check, eye protection because there's always the danger of flying debris, and foot protection in the form of over-the-ankle safety boots in good repair and properly laced to the top. Remember, your PPE is your last line of defense from the hazards that you encounter daily in the working environment. Once you're wearing your PPE, you're ready to start the daily circle check. Many components must be examined to help ensure the machine is in good working order and that any maintenance issues are taken care of promptly. It is a good idea to use a checklist specific to your machine to make sure you cover everything during the circle check. As you begin your circle check, make sure the lockout tools are in place and accounted for. You'll need them when it comes time to clear a jam up. While you're conducting your circle check and as you move around and on the machine, you need to keep yourself safe. Be sure to use three-point contact and the ladders, handholds or handrails that have been provided by the manufacturer as you climb on and off the grinder. This will go a long way to helping to prevent strain and sprain injuries on the job. The best way to fight fires is to prevent them. You can do that in several ways. During the circle check, check the electrical system for frayed or broken wires that can lead to sparking or arcing. Inspect the muffler and exhaust system for leaks and rust spots. If you find any, have them repaired immediately. You don't want sparks around dry tree debris. Check the hydraulic systems for leaks on hoses, and if you find any spills, clean them up immediately. While performing the circle check, you should inspect the entire machine and the area around the machine for fire hazards such as tree debris it's important to regularly clear debris from the machine. Look for wear or damage to the track, sprockets, and idlers. Make sure the plates are visible on the track, not loose or broken, and the track has the correct amount of tension. The manufacturer places decals on critical parts of the grinder to give you information about various hazards you need to be aware of. The decals could warn of pinch points, hot areas, slippery surfaces, or other hazardous conditions that are particular to that area of the machine. Make sure you understand them. Safety features can vary on different grinders. For example, the fire suppression system may include a fire extinguisher or a water pump can. Regardless of the system, it is important that you know how it works and that it can be operated when needed. The last item on your circle check is the emergency stop button. The emergency stop or the remote controls machine stop button will shut down the engine. The engine won't restart until the button is locked. You'll need to turn it clockwise to reset it in order to restart the machine. 
If you have any maintenance concerns, you should note them and report them to your supervisor as soon as possible. Make sure that no one is in the danger zone before starting up. The danger zone is forward and sideways around the machine and extends 90 meters or 300 feet because objects can fly out of the grinder at any time in many directions. And remember, the danger zone moves with the machine. You are ready to get into the loader to start work. A circle check was already performed on this loader. It is good practice for you to sound a warning, such as the horn, and wait before starting up the grinder from the operator's compartment. Remember, there's no safe place for you on a grinder while it is in operation. Don't watch the grinding operation from anywhere on the grinder at any time. Very often, several machines may be at work in the same area at the same time and they do not travel in predictable paths. As an operator, do not make random or unpredictable moves with the machine or with yourself around the machine. Visibility can be limited because of piles of material in the working area, the size of the machines operating, low lighting conditions or bad weather conditions. You must be aware of other workers and the location of all machines at all times. If you do not have a full view of the intended path of travel of the grinder, use a signaler who can see you and where you're going and can give directions for you. This can be done in several ways, including radio or hand signals. It is important to ensure safe grinder operation by keeping all guards in place on the grinder at all times. The manufacturer has put these guards in place for your safety to keep you and hazards separated. Grinders are meant to grind wood and wood only. Foreign materials could react unexpectedly in the grinder and could cause significant injury or damage. Because fire is such a hazard while the machine is operating, you need to be watching for signs of it. In some areas, utilities may be part of the working environment. You may need to consider underground utilities such as natural gas, electrical, telephone, and water lines or overhead utilities, such as electrical lines. Underground utilities must be located before you begin work. It's your supervisor's responsibility to contact the owners of any underground services that may be in the area. There are also situations where a piece of equipment is operating within reach of a live overhead power line. In these situations, your supervisor must have written procedures in place to prevent the equipment from coming in contact with the power lines. Occasionally, jam-ups may occur while you're operating the grinder. Before clearing a jam-up, or performing any type of maintenance, service, or lubrication, you must lock out. A lockout procedure on a grinder consists of several steps that must be completed each time lockout is performed. Each grinder is different, so check the procedure for your machine 
and make sure you're familiar with it and follow it each and every time you lock out. The first step in a lockout procedure is to shut off the engine. Next, you turn the master switch to the off position and padlock and scissor lock it or the control panel and add a tag. Don't bypass or disable the automatic shut off circuits as they are an important safety feature on a grinder. Remove the key from the ignition. It is a good idea to put the key in your pocket or someplace where no one else has access to it. Once the lockout procedure has been done and all of the parts on the machine have completely stopped moving, you can now perform the necessary maintenance to the grinder. While performing the service on the machine, you need to be aware of any crushing or pinching hazards near the pulleys, conveyors, or the take-up mechanisms on the grinder. Once the maintenance work is finished, you need to clean up all of the tools you used and put all guards back into place on the machine. Then you unlock the power sources. Make sure no one is in the danger zone before you start the engine from the operator's compartment or from the engine start switch. You can now return to regular operation.